Well, we just saw him do a marvellous opening, and I have to say, expert ribbon cutting. I feel like it's not your first time. Uh, it was all right. The scissors were a little bit blunt, so I had to have a few goals at it, but we got there in the end. Well, it looked from the outside uh, absolutely like you're an expert ribbon cutter. It's George much. Clark, everyone. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that all day. Oh, wonderful. So let's kick off then. You're back here at UK Construction Week. Is it nice being back? I love it. I mean, for me, it's the main event of the year. Um, UK Construction Week's absolutely massive. We've got 300 companies here. But I think after the pandemic, when people weren't networking at the level they wanted to be, it really knocked the industry, you know, and everyone in the, I suppose we all went in isolation a little bit. And this industry is about people and people coming together and laughing about the industry, crying about the industry sometimes, talking about projects, talking about potential projects, people bidding for work. You know, you'll have people looking at tenders when they're here and things like that. So it's a really exciting time for the industry to genuinely bounce back and come back stronger. So no, I love it. It's a fantastic event. I mean, I just get all geeky. You know, I'm after like free gifts and drill bits and saws and all sorts of things. Free coffee, free drinks. I'm from Sunderland. I'll do anything for a freebie. Well, absolutely. And uh, we hear rumours that there's going to be free drinks at four Clock. Free drinks at four o'clock. I hope that's true because I've just told everybody there's free drinks and if they're not free, I'll end up having to pay for them. Yeah, yeah it's going to be on you. Yeah, that, that's when you notice I've disappeared. <laughs> Two minutes to four, gone. Um, uh, well, I'm going to be there, I expect one. Um, so, we are, like we said, there's over 300 exhibitors here, over 6,000 different products. Why is it important then that people from the industry come and, and experience events like this? I mean, on the one hand, people are here to, to sell and promote their products. Of course they are. That's why they buy the stands and pay the money. But, you know, we've got seven stages. There's lots of conversations happening with some top experts from all over the world, not just the talking about lots of very important issues in the industry, whether it's getting the net zero carbon. Um, I'm doing a talk at 10.45 with a, a quite an amazing panel about the skill shortage and the skills crisis and why we're struggling to, uh, to entice more young people to come into the industry. So, yeah, there's fun stuff, there's people selling, and then there's quite serious stuff that the, the industry's got to raise its game on, to be honest with you. And I think that's what's brilliant about an event like this. It makes people very aware that we are an industry that cares. Um, yes, we'll congratulate ourselves when we've done a good job, but also we're quite self-critical. And I think it's about pushing standards, quality of building standards, quality of teaching standards, um, just to attract young people into this industry. Because I love it, but I was kind of brought up in the industry. You know, my granddad was a builder. Um, I spent a lot of time on building sites. So for me, it seemed like quite a natural thing to get into. For for UK Construction Week, we're trying to encourage people who might have never thought about being in this industry come into it. Well, to do that, we've got to make it really exciting. We've got to make it safe. We've got to make it really appealing. But for me, the best thing about the industry is you get to build stuff. And you build stuff that normally lasts longer than your lifetime. And that's quite an amazing as a legacy, I think. So it's a great industry, good people, and there's, there's such a buzz about the place today. It's just, for me, it's just nice to see people face to face again. I mean, you're, you're so right. There is a real buzz. And I mean, what, what are we on? It's only quarter past 10. Doors have only just opened. Um, I won't keep much longer because I know you're super, super busy and you've got talks to go and prepare for. But I've got to ask, as, as an expert in the industry, um, you mentioned a couple of trends there, the skill shortage, um, net zero as well. Is there anything else that we should be looking out for that do you think potentially is going to be a trend over the next couple of years? Um, I think, well, diversity, I, I don't think diversity is a trend. I think it's, it's something that we've had to deal with for, for many years. Um, we're, we're still not diverse enough. Uh, we don't have enough women in construction. Uh, we've got a lot, of a lot of women who are working in offices for contractors and builders, but not necessarily on site. Um, and when I see a female builder on site, I love it. It's absolutely brilliant. And it's good because it actually it changes the tone of the environment on site in a really positive way. So, you know, the blokes stop being a bit less blokey, which I think is not great for the industry when they're too blokey. So, for me, it's about getting more women into the industry more than anything else and getting really good young people who want to question the industry and, and change it and hopefully transform it. You know, we, we haven't got the best image in the world. You know, everybody in the industry knows that. We, we're not necessarily the kind of cleanest, slickest operations in the country. It can sometimes come across as being quite a dirty, messy business, but we're looking to change that. So we're doing things like modern methods of construction. You know, we're, we're harnessing fantastic pieces of software for people to design cleaner buildings, healthier buildings, happier buildings. Mental health issues, that's been talked about here today quite a lot. You know, it's... Unfortunately, there's a lot of people who've, who have struggled during COVID and come back to the industry and 
haven't really come out the other side and um, so for me mental health issues and, and looking at people with depression in the industry and trying to help them is is unbelievably important so yeah we're trying to do a lot but that's what this event's all about it, this is a forum for people to come along and express their opinions on something they're passionate about let's debate it and hopefully let's make things change absolutely uh, wonderful listen george thank you so much for taking the time to talk absolute to pleasure. us you can catch george on how many talks you got today three i think starting at quarter to 11 if you're around he's got to run thanks george see you later thank you very much go and catch george on some of the stages today